So tell us about all the mods that you have done to the A-Class. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> nice. Ooh. You feel it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> this on the Cupra. Tell us more. So this is a racing line kit. Um... <laughs> Good morning, comrades and palmrets. Where is it? Have we made this joke before? Yes. Yes, I'm pretty sure we did. Those. Doge is gone. Doge is gone. She doesn't want to be on camera. She's camera star shy. We just did this on the satisfaction noise way. Earlier today it was summer, but yeah, now it's winter. Again. Now it's kind of winter again. Since I announced me not doing instructions anymore, a lot of people ask, so who is going to be doing instructions? Well, we have actually a team of great instructors before that, because me doing alone, of like what, 10 cars, pretty much close to 10 cars that we have, would be impossible. So we have many people, old people, new people, some people that you've seen, some you don't seen. One of them is Hendrik, and look at what he's wearing, by the way, a Simpson hybrid. So that is allowed in TF. The Simpson hybrid uh, stuff is allowed, is allowed in TF, right? Yeah, yeah, no one complained ever. Okay, good. So that's a good decision. That's something I should have been wearing. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a more detailed video on uh, what is allowed, what is not allowed. How can you pick a helmet? Something I've been wanting to do over winter, uh, but didn't do for some reason. In any case, I'm happy that we have great customers who can take care of dogs that, while I'm going for some laps. So <laughs> enjoy. See you. We are going out in an amazing Mercedes A-Class. So tell us about all the mods that you have done to the A-Class. Yeah, that's it. Nice. <laughs> it's my mother's car, so... Good, sounds good to me. Let's hop in. <laughs> I've never been in one of those. It is. You said 90 horsepower, right? Yeah. Dude, I'm not sure if I can handle it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm happy my neck is good again. Listen to all these horses. Does it look too busy today in the car park? Yes, ring couch holder. Yeah, of course. Bucket seat or A class, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, a mobile phone. That's gonna take forever. We can count the seconds or minutes or calendars. Maybe we can just go to the to the left one and then, yes. or even to the right one. Maybe they should also make like a ring couch holder long enough that you can go in one lane, but then extend the cards to the other lane. All the great business ideas. Yeah, it's my eighth lap right now. <laughs> with this, or ever? Ever. Ever? Yeah. But you had also some experience with AMG GTR. Yeah. So, how does this compare to AMG GTR? Yeah, it's almost the same. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it has a Mercedes star in the, yeah, in the steering wheel. That's about it. It has a sport mode. Yeah. Ooh. You feel it? Yes. I'm, I'm, this acceleration might give me second whiplash in a week. So, <laughs> will it ever upshift? <laughs> no, no, it stays like that. Oh, it's very automatic or what? Is yeah, it, it feels like it, yeah. I don't know what it's. <laughs> <laughs> is it top speed already or what? Yeah, the top speed is 170. Okay. Downhill. <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> uh, <whee. laughs> Excitement. <laughs> Wee. Yeah. Oh, there was some lift up oversteer. <laughs> ah, yeah. We'll go and catch up with them in the next corner. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm surprised by the gearbox, why it does it like that or doesn't do it like that. I don't know too. <laughs> nice line there. Mom isn't watching for the because like curbs and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, early on the gas so we can have high top speeds, true flip plots. 
slipstream. Yep. Mostly just slip on the tires. <laughs> yeah. And it sounds like slip on the clutch too, but I think it's just something else. It's something. <laughs> Nobody knows. I mean, it's driving. What yeah. It does. Nothing. I just want to make it home <laughs> in one piece. <laughs> yes. I think if it was like full, full dry because it's a bit wet, you didn't even have to lift through there. <laughs> yeah. Next time. Okay, the top speed section. Feel the wind. Yes. We can big almost jump, reach. Big jump. Yeah, almost 170. Wonderful. And now the brake test. Yeah, there is some deceleration happening. <laughs> Do we check the tire pressures? Yeah, they're there. They're there. Fine. Yeah, yeah. The tires are there. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Claire, take a picture of us. She was distracted by some golf. I, I feel sorry now. I feel sad, not sorry. Oh well. I always like this view here. When you're driving not so fast car, you can actually... Yeah, yeah, also that, but I meant out of the window. Yeah. But. <laughs> have in the back? Uh, I don't know. Something's rolling around. That could be like my series of question or like like quiz to the audience. Guess what's in the trunk by the end of the lap. And if you <laughs> guess correctly you, you, yeah. you win a prize. Yeah. Some prize. Woo. Well some people say that the Miata is the best sports car ever so it's about to get beaten by something else which makes the A-Class probably also a great sports car. I like, I like the G-Force meter that they have in their car which is like some horse hanging on the window or a giraffe. It's hard to say. Yes, we might. We might. We might. Maybe one day we will overtake them. It's the Battle of the Titans. Yes. Overtaking while doing speed limit. Yes, actually the entrance exit, only the exit is open over right, so you can get off there, but you cannot get on. At least you couldn't last week. Maybe it has changed this week. Oh, there's another hot hatch. It says that your phone is out, just off, I mean, just yeah. letting you know, because in case your mom gonna call you and ask where the car is.
Well, one thing I can guarantee, you can take mood curve flat, so... It's probably all because of the massive arrow that you have on the car. Yeah. And the downforce effect. Yes. Being pushed to the outside with all the G-forces. Almost not worth it. <laughs> have their own Morse code and they try to communicate. Yeah. Can't really understand anything. No, me neither. Yes. Absolutely. Cannot disagree with that. Are we gonna have a lift off at Vlans Garden? Yeah, with wings. Yeah. <laughs> There was an attempt. <laughs> Actually, a tip to jump in Flans Garden, you break before the jump and let go, because then your suspension, uh, what's it called, this decompresses again and then you take off as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, But I don't know if you're going to be going fast enough to actually lift up anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! something thanks for this amazing lap no problem it was actually awesome thank you for being a great passenger <laughs> <laughs> no but if it's seriously your eighth lap ever it's like really really good really impressive good good lines move on the steering wheel and 
you might say like, oh yeah, well, everyone can drive uh, A class easy. No, A class is very challenging to drive. It's actually even extra challenging because um, the car was not that much under steering, or it was under steering. The tires wanted to understeer, but then it's like even extra challenging to actually keep as much grip as possible with components that are not suited for it. So extra thumbs up. Woo! I would buy you pancakes, but uh, like you know, it's evening, so they're not being served. But you deserve pancakes, so. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at the wing on the Cupra. Wow, sexy. Can we go straight? Yeah. You can check out what's in the car park. All the nice things. <laughs> Polka dot. Beautiful. Oh wow. Fabulous, fantastic, magnificent. Evil. Love it. Mm hmm. Diamond tree, GTR, and others. Maybe we can take the wing of the GT86 and put it in the A-Class. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the lab and see you next time yeah. with the GTR, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Just one more look at this precious... What tires were you even running? I don't even know. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, Pirelli's. Yes. See you. My constant thumbs up. I love this Cupra. Many Cupras in the car park on the track here. And most importantly, our own Cupra, which has received oh, an upgrade. Hello. Oh, oh hi there. Well, this is oh, it's a vlog section. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... How long has your channel been off the grid? Uh, six weeks. Six weeks. Uh, While well, you're counting your... I think it's weeks. six weeks. Six or seven weeks, maybe longer. Yeah. Who knows? But yeah, well, we're coming to the end of this one anyway. So for the continuation go over to misha's video and you can probably watch the rest of this so, um, for the beginning then go to go to george's video i mean we've already done this once with the golf laps so. yeah okay so anyway like and subscribe do the usual i'm gonna stop waffling now because misha's here so i'll catch you in a bit peace all right so for the beginning check out george's channel <laughs> but there he's gonna introduce this on the cupra and, oh, even microphone, does some spec. Good, microphone on the, oh yeah. Just iPhone and airdrop it to the Mac. Nice. So tell us more. So this is a racing line kit. Um, it's racing line, if you're not aware, are a company who make aftermarket parts, performance parts, but work alongside OEM. Mm -hmm. So they use, um, they've been using dealerships and stuff across the UK for a long time to obviously perfect all the parts, get everything spot on basically. Mm -hmm. So. This is why the fitment, this uses an OEM gasket. This whole PCV delete uses an OEM, OEM gasket. Everything is like, fits nice, you know? Yeah, it looks good. The only complaint I have with this kit is a little, it, the pipe doesn't really fit nice here. It touches the turbo housing. So Ooh. that's my only complaint, but. Is it not that, gonna get too hot and like? No, it should be okay. It's, it's the cold side anyway, but. Okay. The rocker cover will probably get hotter than that. Hmm. Um, the hose is really nice, all nylon. AN fittings are all really, really done well. Even like in, everything's included and it's, it fits good. So what does it do? Um, so basically a catch tank, let's get this straight first, on a direct port injection engine, the catch tank basically works as a fancy air filter. So you get crankcase pressure built up from blow by of the pistons. So in the combustion chamber, pressure escapes alongside the pistons and enters the crankcase. And that's why you get pressure build up, build up in, the, in the crankcase. Now, obviously, with this, the PCV valve normally um, puts this straight back into the inlet manifold, or straight back into the inlet, in this mm -hmm. sense. Obviously, that's not great, mm -hmm. because then you end up with all the sludge, the condensation, the oil that builds up, it all pushes through, and it all sits in the inlet. Mm -hmm. When it dries, it then carbonizes on the valves, and then you end up with shit all over the valves, basically. Mm -hmm. So, to keep the inlet clean, you run a catch tank, so the catch tank catches all of the crap. It mm. acts as a, as a filter. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically the, the main purpose of it. Now, if you run a, if it's a non-direct port engine, so like this, go for, let's go old school. Let's go like, a, I gave the example of a Nova, uh -huh. console Nova. Right? 
the old eight valve engines used to run a single point injection, mm -hmm. which was an injector that used to sit on top of the intake, mm -hmm. kind of like a modern carburetor, yeah, kind of that kind of thing. And that injects petrol and it cleans the inlet as it goes. So mm -hmm. you don't need to worry about a catch tank on something like that, unless you end up going turbocharged and you end up with like loads of boost and whatever else. Mm. But yeah, that's that's kind of the, the whole reasoning behind it. So. Cool. Uh, lots of uh, wizardry, lots of very detailed explanation. As mentioned, more on it you can find on George's channel. And I think we have a, a bit more upgrades coming for the Cupra, right? We have an oil cooler, which is here, but I have not had, well, this is the first time I've managed to work on Cupra since the last outing. Uh, so we've got the oil catch tank, uh, oil cooler kit, which is also racing line. Mm -hmm. That's a whole new housing, whole new oil filter housing. Everything is is the whole system. Nice. Uh, um, what else do we have? That's it for now. That's it for now. Yeah, that's it for now. But cool. we'll, we'll have more. Yeah, and sure. that's pretty much it. So thank you much for the sure. installing and upgrades. And as mentioned, check out his channel. And to finish off the whole Cupra theme, we have Cupra people with kebab. Hello. What do you have? Mm. Ah, in your mouth. Good. Mm -hmm. It's the first time that you're not wearing a Cupra t-shirt or anything oh, yeah. else. Yeah. There's so, someone here that wants to ask free, yeah? Yes. Hi. 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 <laughs> oh, she's right. She would like to give Pancake a ball. Absolutely. There, Pancake, come here. <laughs> Go say hello. Give <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. There. Go. Go get it. Get it. <laughs> And that's your dinner for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Another update that I haven't shown. M2 has a lip now, a splitter. Now just missing a wing, but some other time. And after kebab, decided to go for some espresso and panna cotta at 27, because why not?